Word on the street is that these little boards, the Orange Pi 5, are real powerful. More powerful than the Raspberry Pi 4, and more powerful than the Raspberry Fi Pi 5, which is just coming out. So I'm going to run some tests using the Whisper C++ model and see how they go. I'll do quantization, benchmarking, also talk about installation of operating systems, and uh, we'll see what happens. Before digging too deep into things, I want to point out some of the things I like. Uh, for example, the price. 80 bucks, and then you get 8 cores at 2.4 gigahertz. That's incredible. I also like that it has a built-in microphone here. Just little things like that are pretty neat. Um, so power goes here. And you don't need an adapter for the HDMI uh, port, which is nice. I'll, I'll dig into some things I don't like here as well. So go to, I'm going to go to Ubuntu and I followed another tutorial, I'll put it in the description uh, for this video, but yeah, I'm going to download, go on this link here, and then if I click download, yeah, it gives me this can't uh, guarantee that it's virus free because it's over a gig so I don't like that I just don't feel it's very secure and same goes with the orange pie website not secure so th those are some things I don't like right off the bat as an alternative I'm going to try third-party images I'm going to go down to here, Orange Pi 5, and download that. After the image is downloaded, I'm using Belina Etcher. The image is 9.25 gigabytes, and the SD card is just under 16 gigabytes. Let's go. All right, I put the official Ubuntu image on this Samsung uh, 32 gig SD card, and then the third party uh, version is on this 16 gigabyte Kingston SD card. All right, the third party Ubuntu version has loaded. What I'm going to do is go to this website here and copy these lines into the terminal here. And we'll see what happens here. We're going to need to uh, do something else. Well, you can see it installed down here, but we're going to need to include this line here. And when I ran this on the, yep, yeah, see, got the error. When I ran this on uh, the official version, I had to do a sudo apt-get update, essentially, uh, to get this working. So here we go, copy paste that worked now I'm going to copy this to get the tiny model I'm going to do the same thing now but replace this with base the dot en at the end means English all right, just downloaded the base and tiny models. For... Now what I've done is copied this line into here to run it. And let's see what happens. You. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know it's me. All right, the computer was having an issue finding the built-in mic here with a third-party Ubuntu install, so I just used this little USB mic instead. But the official version was working, so there's probably some kind of driver issue. I don't, I don't know. Here are the CPUs running without Whisper. Now let's see what happens here. I'm going to run all eight cores. Running all eight cores with Whisper. Tiny model in English. And now some of these CPUs, they go all the way up to 100%. Now that things are generally working, I'm going to quantize the tiny and base models to 8 bits. I'm quantizing the base, so let's go here. Oh man, that was quick. Holy moly, we're going to do the same thing with the tiny. Let's do some benchmarking. First type make bench. And then you can copy and paste this line here, but I'm going to use eight cores instead of four. And starting with the smallest model, which is the tiny quantized eight bit. I also turn this on to see what happens while we do the benchmarking. All right. Code time. And then code time, decode time, total time. Well, the Orange Pi 5 outperformed the Raspberry Pi 4 by quite a bit. The load times and the encode times were less than half. For example, here, this is for the original Tiny model. The load time was less than half for the Orange Pi 5 compared to the or for, compared to the Raspberry Pi 4. And in some cases, for example, if you look at this in code time here, this is four threads on the Raspberry Pi 4. It's 22,000 milliseconds. Here it's more like 5,000. So sometimes it's like a factor of four. So there's a big difference here. The Orange Pi 5 is much uh, faster, much higher performing kinds of things. So if I enter the default here, it'll even print out step 3 seconds, length 10 seconds, keep 0.2 seconds, number of threads, and uh, what it's doing. And then it shows you here, so the step is 3 seconds, and that corresponds here. You can see the CPUs going up and down and so one two three of these happen in about 10 seconds so you can see the step happening and then also memory went up you can see this little step in the memory here right now we're running the base model according to this memory should go up about mm, 210 megabytes and it's it, Goes up maybe a little bit more than that here, but I think you get the idea. And you can see here there's four cores that are really running, and then four cores that are kind of sitting there mostly. See all the variables and what you can adjust with the Whisper Stream. Open up the streaming C file in the examples folder, and then round line. Starting around line 120, it'll start showing all the different variables here. 
I mean, they have default values up here, but, you know, the program parses all these, which you can adjust, so number of threads. And also, note that this is going to be different. Uh, the streaming uh, variables are going to be a little bit different than, like, uh, the main program. So if you go to examples and then main, they're going to be a little bit different in here. So just giving you the heads up. How do you know you're going to start having issues? You know, like when the model's too big or whatnot. Well, you just monitor the CPU usage. This is one way. So right now I'm running the small model, eight cores, and you're going to see that the CPUs go up, and they pretty much just stay flat up top at 100%, and that's not good, that's not what we want, and you can see here that we're not really getting any output. Some of these parameters are pretty interesting, for example, the dash F here, you can output to a file, so dash F test, that's the name of the text file, I'll show you that, and if there's one that already exists, it writes over it, and then here's another one, PS, print special, uh, print special character, so I'm just going to show you that real quick here, and um, yeah, the program does send characters, like there's a blank character here, and uh, like terminating characters, it's pretty interesting, so when you're all done, control C to exit, and then check this out. Go back to Whisper, and then there's Test, and it's all recorded here. I just thought that was neat. Here we go. I think this is interesting. We're going to adjust a couple parameters here. Save to this file. We're going to save the transcript to the test file and then uh, save the audio output as well. So let's give it a shot here. And... So if you have a question, especially if you, let's say yeah. if you were just starting in the field and you read the very early papers, you can say, hey, people are saying, let's build neural networks. That's a great idea because the brain... And it worked. Here's the transcript. It takes about 30 seconds in the WAV file to actually record the audio so that's the recording cool I tried this tiny diarize parameter here but it only works for the small model right now and uh, the small model is just too much for the Orange Pi 5. It was maxing out the CPUs. Well, I hope you can uh, adjust the parameters to your liking and use uh, this model for your projects, and it's pretty neat once you get it going. Thanks for watching.